In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a certificate of appreciation just like this one. Without wasting further time, let's get started. I have an open PowerPoint. The first thing I do is clear these text boxes. So I go over to layout, then I choose blank. Next, I will change my paper size to A4. I go over to design, slash size. I choose custom slash size. And the slash size for, at the moment it is set to white screen. I drop down the arrow, then I choose A4. Then I go ahead and click on OK. You can either select maximize or ensure fit. Either way, it will give you the same results. Now I have my A4 paper in a landscape mode. Next thing I do is set up a background for my design. To do that, I choose background. The fill is going to be solid. Then in here, I choose the color I want to use. For this demonstration, I'm going to use orange color. So I choose this. That is the light one. I'm also going to go ahead and increase the transparency. To make it a little bit lighter something like this i think 70 will do awesome next i add borders for my certificate to do that i go over to insert then i click on shapes here i can either use the rectangle or a triangle i'm going to use rectangle i click on it then i go ahead and draw my shape like this i will rotate it then I go ahead and place it right here. Take note, what you see outside will not be part of the design after we have finished exporting it. As you can see on the thumbnail right here. I will go ahead and remove the outline. I don't need it. So I select the shape. Then I go over to shape outline. No outline. I will also change the shape fill. So I go over to shape fill. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this. The next thing I do is duplicate the shape. So I go over to home. Then I click on copy and I click on paste to have a duplicate of it. I place it exactly on the first one. Then I go ahead and open it down a bit, something like this. Perfect. Next, I change the color. That is the shape fill. And I'll choose this. Then I'm going to go ahead and send the shape behind the first one. So I click on send backward. The line is too thick for me. So I select the shape behind. Then I use the up arrow to position it very well or just my arrow keys. I think something like this will do. Next, I select all the two shapes. Then I'll go ahead and copy it, paste, then I move it down here. I'll rotate them together. Then I'll go ahead and increase it. Take note, this one is going to take a larger portion than this one. So I bring it like this. Next, I'll go ahead and add some line borders. Click on insert shapes and I choose rectangle. I start from here. I make sure I have the same size at the edges. I don't need the shape fill. So I go over to shape fill. Then I say no fill. The outline. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger like this and I'll change the color to this. Next thing I'm going to do is copy the shape. So I go over to home, copy, paste. Then I drag it inside a bit. That is the second one. Next, I'll make the inner line a bit thinner. So I go over to shape outline, weight, then I choose this. Now I have my layout. The next thing I do is start entering my text. I go over to insert. Then I'm going to go ahead and insert a text box. I just draw it here. Then I enter your company name. I make sure it is centered. The text box itself, I'm going to center it by going to shape format, align, center. Next, I'll duplicate this text box. So I select it, home, copy paste and I move it down here I enter certificate in small letters I duplicate this as well I can just select it and press ctrl D keys on the keyboard to have a duplicate of appreciation so it will be certificate of appreciation 
I select back this and I'm going to go ahead and change the font so I go over to font drop down the arrow and I'm going to go ahead and choose all English text empty I will increase the size to 44 I'll place it up a bit awesome next I go over to insert and I'm going to go ahead and insert a line just a simple line I click here holding down shift to get a straight line I release then I go over to alignment I want to make sure it is centered I'll change the line color to this then I increase it to 1.5 I take it up a bit awesome I'll go ahead and duplicate this text just select it Control D on the keyboard and I move it down here I change the text I want it in one line maybe I will decrease the size to 14 I make sure it is centered so I go over to shape format align center I'll duplicate this again I move it down here I change it to your name or I can just say name surname I'm going to change the font I select it I go over to font drop down the arrow scrolling down I will use brush script empty I increase the size to 44 I need it in one line take it up a bit I make sure it is centered so I go to shape format align align center next I duplicate this move it down I enter the reason why the certificate is going to be issued I'll just enter some random text I align it to center awesome next I enter text for date so I select this and I go ahead and duplicate it I'll just enter a random date next I go over to shape format the shape field I'm going to go ahead and choose this color so that it will have some sort of background I'll reduce the background a bit like this the text I make it bold and I go ahead and center the text box next I enter text for signature so I go over to insert shapes I'll choose line I'll place it here maybe a little bit down I'll change the line color to black the width I change it to 1 pt I'll duplicate it I make sure it is in line with the first one then I can move it I go over to insert text box then I draw a text box here signature I make sure it is centered I select it then I move it up a bit I reduce the size to 16 I think 16 will do I click on it hold down shift and control to have a duplicate like this perfect maybe I can add a seal somewhere so I go over to insert shapes i'll choose stars and banners and i'm going to choose 12 points let's click on it then i draw it here i want to reduce the points so i hold down the yellow button here i move it up like this next i insert a circle i go over to shapes and i choose oval i draw it in here if you want to get a perfect circle what you need to do is hold down shift key on the keyboard then you draw your circle in order to get a perfect circle I'll increase the thickness of the circle so I go over to shape outline then I go to weight I choose this next I go over to shape outline then I go ahead and select this I do the same thing to the star shape 
shape outline i choose this then outline color is going to be this the shape fill i choose this i will change the shape fill of the circle so i go over to shape fill then i choose this color the seal is too big for me so what i do is select both shapes and i'm going to go ahead and reduce it like this make sure you hold down shift before you do that so that you get a perfect circle you see that it's not in order they are still selected i go over to shape format align center and then middle next i'll add a text in here i can just use any of the text boxes here i duplicate this then i go ahead and move it in here i edit it to best awards i select the text box now go ahead and increase the size maybe i reduce it to 20. i change the text color to white and now we are done next let's see how we can export it as an image to do that i go over to file then i click on save as maybe i want to put it inside documents folder i select it i will enter the name as certificate of appreciation under save as type i drop down the arrow then i go ahead and choose either jpeg or png i'll choose png and i go ahead and click on save just this one and my file is exported now let me open my documents folder i have it right here certificate of appreciation open it and we have it right here very neat and clean so that's it on how to create a certificate using powerpoint now if you want to learn how to save your powerpoint file as a template so that you'll be able to use it over and over again stick around to watch this video on your screen right now keep watching and i'll see you there